All right, here is my box with my paper bow on it. This paper is so beautiful that it's what inspired me to try to make a bow out of it. It has the flocking stripes on it and a lot of the papers in this particular line are just so pretty. You know, you want to be able to use them to their full capacity. I really am excited about this project because it was perfect project for a line like this with the SEI paper because you can really take advantage of all the colors and stuff. This is my exploding box. So when you open it up, it basically just falls open just like that. And there you've got your page. And so I plan on using this for home decor. I want to do one for each year, Christmas. This one is my 2007. And I have some of the Christmas photos uh, from that year. And I plan on putting a few little journaling tags and things like that in there. I used some acetate to kind of pop up uh, another layer on the bottom. And because it's an empty box inside, you can kind of get away with having the different uh, different dimensions and using your dimensionals to pop things up and give them a little bit of uh, character. So this is my box. Let me go ahead and I'll fold it back up like that. There you go. Simply folds and the lid goes back on like that. Be using the SEI paper, uh, the Winter Song Collection. This one is called Redwood Hideaway, and I wish you could feel it. It's got flocked stripes on it that are so nice and soft and velvety. It's really nice paper and just perfect for the project that we're doing with the bow. And it also has a nice contrasting underside that will show through with my bow and help um, add to the colors of our box. So basically you are going to need two pieces of the SEI paper 12 by 12 and with those two pieces we will be cutting four strips one inch wide of 12 inches so it's one by 12 and then four strips that are one by 11 and then four strips that are one by 10 Let's see if we go there So these are the strips that you need for your bow. Then you're going to need one additional strip, just cut at five inches, and then the additional strips for around the box. Okay. You'll also need tool-wise uh, hole punch. I like to use the um, crapple dial, and I like to also use a button to actually assemble the bow itself with a very thin ribbon. You can use wire if you want to. Um, for this project I really like the look of the white ribbon. So let's get started. Okay, to make our bow we're going to need basically uh, what I use is a button with a white piece of ribbon and I wrap tape around the two edges ends of the ribbon so that it helps threading it through my paper strips um, easier. We're going to start with the five inch piece and I'm going to kind of just overlap it about an inch and it depends on which side you like. I generally stick um, keep to um, the same side throughout the whole bow. You could alternate if you wanted to. But then my button button is just going to go up in there like that. And that's going to be holding the bow together. Once I've done that, I use a clothespin to keep it while I'm working with it. And then I start with my 10 inch strips. And I just like this. And you want to overlap the full inch. Okay? So you're gonna make you're gonna take two pieces and basically make an X with them. Okay. 
like that. Be careful not to squeeze the bow part. You don't want to flatten it once you've done that. Get your hole punch. And punch your hole in the center. And your ribbon goes through. And you move your clothespin. Like that. And you continue with all of your 10 inch, then your 11, and then your 12. Now what I'm going to do to finish it off is cut my ribbon where the tape is. Or you could just take the tape off, it's up to you. And I'm going to take another button and thread it through the bottom. like that. So the button on the bottom and the button on the top is what keeps the whole bow together. And you simply tie it. And voila! You have a paper bag. There's my box.